Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or to my channel. Um, today I have gotten a bunch of stuff from the kiln because uh, we had our last class day. So we got all our stuff back basically that we made um, and some of the stuff I made at home in my previous videos um, so I'm just gonna show you guys everything that I got pretty much everything is on uh, high waters brown speckled brownstone uh, clay so except for one thing and I'll show you that thing now this one's on a Laguna white Play. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but um, just a little flower pot. I did chameleon green on the rim and purple on the the rest of it on that one. And I just did green on the base part and then white inside and then white on the rim. moth mug. I just did all chameleon green on the base and then white for the rim and the inside is white as well. I was pretty happy with that one. These I did chameleon green as well on this little cup has some like textured root or rolls and then this one this one I did coyotes fairy rose um, which I'll link in the description because this one this glaze I actually bought myself um, and used it. It's got some stuff on the bottom that needs to be sanded down, but that's okay. Um, this is like this one, just all white, um, and I just made it to use as like a to put dipping sauces in, like for cheese dip or something. And then I made a couple jars. What's that? And the inside. Turned out pretty cute. All white on this one too. This one. Pretty happy about that one too. That's pretty okay. And it's just super cute. Cam I'll, I'll chameleon green on that one too. I'm not sure exactly sure what brand the glaze is that my um, studio carries but I do know it's called chameleon green specifically and this one 
I did a Coyote Sunset Pink Glaze. I'll link that one in the description as well. And this one is a Bumblebee. Um, and the glaze is just so pretty. You can't see how it like it just looks so good in person. I wish that I could get it on video how how pretty it is. But sunset pink from Coyote Glazes. And this one's another one. Using the sunset pink. A nice butterfly and basically to achieve this type of thing I carved um, this originally and then I put wax on all the carving areas and this is three coats of the coyote uh, pink sunset or sunset pink um, glaze. One of my favorites, a snake mug. And this snake, I did white on the snake, only one coat because I wanted it to like have that brown a little bit showing through and it turned out exactly how I wanted and then the fairy rose from the coyote glazes I did three coats on this half and then only two coats on the bottom half because it says issues with two coats and two coats still seems to um, look pretty pink on there so happy with that one and then I made some a couple uh, hanging things to hang on the wall no, I'm not super happy with this one, but I'll still show you. Um, basically, I just put purple over the leaves. Um, I tried putting a sunset pink on the flowers, but I didn't do enough coats on the flowers, so oh well. Um, and then I just left most of it brown and then painted this white and the moon white as well. It came out okay, it's just not my favorite. The other one's my favorite. So. I'll show you that one. Uh, this is another one of those. I just like a lot more how this one came out. I did white for the moon and white for the um, the other half of the little thing I threw and then I cut it in half and then I attached it to this. Um, and then purple all, the, all, all around it. And I pressed in some flowers that somebody had brought um, for us to use at the studio. And yeah, I like how that one turned out. And the last thing I have is the two-headed plant snake planter that I made in my last video. Um, put a little moon. Oh. 
which the purple really did um, sink into those areas that I had the wax um, for the like ornaments around the that I had carved um, so it didn't really turn out as good as I hoped and also it dripped some purple glaze right there um, this one's just I guess kind of a more of a drippy glaze if you put too much and I guess I put too much because uh, it's also at the bottom you can see it dripped um, down so oh well but my favorites would definitely be the snake the pink and white snake mug and this little guy for sure. I was excited that I made a jar that actually fit. And basically to make this I just did um, a closed form and then didn't quite cut it off and um, took the lid off after it dried a little bit and then uh, trimmed everything. So. Mm -hmm. And this one I also really like. Um, but this one technically was from my last batch. Uh, I just never made a video with these. Alright, I hope you liked this video. If you did, like and subscribe. And uh, leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite piece was. Um, and thank you so much to the most recent um, people that have subscribed. Uh, I really appreciate it. So, thank you. Bye.